Once upon a time, the end of the world was our beginning. an indentured servant. Ned Kelly is his name. Shoot him. Make a name for yourself. Who's to teach you? To kill men. Nothing comes free in this world, son. Be who you were meant to be. You're not the man you pretend to be. You're a boy, looking for a captain to tell him what to do. You're a son of Steve. We're rebels, warriors. And you all wear dresses. Nothing scares a man like crazy. You boys want to build an army? Fire! You're bloody bulletproof, boys! Are you Dave, your mummy? Don't. Not now. Ellen, I sent me best. Fuck off. A man cannot change the past, nor outrun his destiny. You're a man now. You're my little man. I am called the coldest murderer on record. But others, knowing the truth, would call me a hero. Thanks for coming in. What's going on? Josh, you pressured a student to reveal an intimate moment in front of an entire classroom. Do you really want me to say? Yes! We're writers. Embarrass yourselves. We're gonna need you to take some time off. Hey, Grandma. You look so much better. She looks hot. Mom's cleaning out her apartment. It's very confusing. I'm gonna get rid of it. Grandma's still alive. I don't want to live anymore. I need my grandma. You're like my best friend. I want to be in heaven. All right, give me the pill. Please. You're going to be with grandpa very soon. Here we go. It's no. us. What, what are you doing? doing? Nothing. Uh, it was just fluffing doing? Doing the pillows. I want to talk about your gorgeous immigrant. <sighs> well, I just wonder if we could be a little bit more intimate. If there's a way to incorporate just a little affection. I don't know about that. OK, well, we're basically on the same page. Hello. Hey, Grandma. Everything okay? There's not much time. Wait, who's on the phone? Whose voice is this? It's me. It's me. me. Everything's a joke to you, isn't it? It's no wonder you're in trouble with your school. Think for a second, Josh. They wanted us to talk about making this a safe space. Could you stop recording me? Mm, why? I'd like to make this okay, a safe so, like, space. Okay, so let's have a dialogue. How much battery do you have? Full. Oh. Great. That's not my mother. That's my freaking soulmate. I thought Dad was your soulmate. Shut up. <laughs> These kids hit the jackpot when they got you as a grandma. You got an army of people who love you at your back. So far. This is a modified virus causing DNA transformations. I need your help, buddy. I don't know what I've become. I am your brother. Together we will find a cure for this. Go, go, go. The man you knew is gone. My people and I are not terrorists. 
and as much right to live as anyone else. As horrible as it will be, this war is also necessary. Blood Nation will prevail. The infection is spreading faster than any of us could have anticipated. Oh. We're killing this thing. I'm a doctor. I can help make you better. I need to feed. You join in with us. Or die alone. I arrived at Hypsilanti State Hospital, summer of 1959. I left teaching to begin an ambitious study of delusional patients. I would really like to help you, Joseph. Please address me as my proper name, Jesus Christ, the righteous one am I. I have three patients who believe they're Jesus Christ. can be but only one son of God. Uh, that's my point. Address me by my righteous name, God to you. I want to put the three of them in a room and study their behavior. What do you think will happen? I don't have a clue. The reason I'm having these meetings is there can only be one Jesus. Only one God. One God, two re-rise hicks. I'm shaking off all of your negativity and all of your squelches, all of your squelching. We do not have false hollowed out gods in Great Britain. Did our father send a boy to do a man's job? <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off! Alan, please be careful. Is it possible to really understand someone else's delusion? There are limits you can't exceed. It's brave and important what you're doing. You decide if the gains outweigh the obvious risks. Gentlemen, I want one of you to lead each of the meetings. I think we should have a vote. I nominate Joseph. Draw favor. Unanimous. Why do you want to work with power lights schizophrenics? Because they're so lonely. By the grace of Jesus Christ, you are saved. Companionship, joy, hope. Will I be able to offer these men a means to find themselves? Lord to sound believe they must make a human sacrifice. We've been waiting for you, detective. Seven, but come back half five and we'll get ready. Some people are trying to challenge our ruling and it needs to be stamped out. two weeks ago at the rodeo. Look at me. Do I look like a queen? We may love our country, but we want something better for ourselves. I'm gonna be a rodeo queen this year. I'm gonna win that crown. I think something might have happened to her. Hey, Jane, give me a call. I'm worried about you. Jane? She has long brown hair. Jane! Her back door was open. She's not a runaway, no, she's, she's missing. Do you know this woman? 
You best stop looking for your friend. She's the trouble. You ever see this girl, Lysera? She's still missing. Have you seen Jane? Have you heard from Jane? Where do you think she was going? Some of the guys saved up by the mines. The desert did all that. I swallowed you up. I got something that'll help you find Jane. You're lost, aren't you? There are two types of people in this world. Those who are lost and powerless. Jane? And those who have found their place. You can be part of something. The American dream has been taken away from us. You can have power. The American dream has been taken away from me. Look at this. All those years in the big city, we finally got out. We're living the dream. Maybe it is a dream. light or actually I don't even know what color it was it wasn't like any color I'd ever seen before looks like a meteorite you mean it's radioactive I mean it's from space right meteorites are generally no more dangerous than ordinary rocks how can something that big just disappear did you plant those no Ward you come here for a sec oh god what are you doing? Shh. It's talking to me. Who's talking to you? A man in the well. It's in the static, it's in the moisture. It's in here, it's out there. And what's out there is in here now. Everything's under control. Why are you so in denial? That thing from the meteorite changes everything around it. Can you believe me now? I don't know what I believe anymore. Ah!